Australia's future. Uh, yeah, it worries me in a way. It's going to have a devastating impact on Australia. Uh, this lockdown. The longer lockdown lasts for, the worse this will be on the other end. I'm very concerned about uh, what will uh, happen as a result of this for Australia as a whole. How will our economy uh, get back up on its feet? How will individuals and businesses be able to uh, progress in their career or get it back on track? To have your tap of income completely turned off is something that most people in their lifetime could just not even imagine going through. The mental strength of these people to get through this period is quite enormous and for me it is I think quite galling for people who are quite unaffected by all of this in terms of their income levels to basically sneer at people who are affected. Hi I'm Nathan and I'm from the Central Coast on New South in New South Wales. I uh, run I own and run a waste uh, cooking oil collection business which services takeaway shops, restaurants, uh, pubs and clubs, places like that. I'm Julia and I'm from Melbourne, Victoria. Prior to the pandemic, I was a food and beverage attendant at a restaurant near the Royal Children's Hospital and a practicing barista. And uh, given that my contract was terminated about a month ago. My name's Phil and I'm from the Gold Coast, uh, Queensland. I've been a pilot for uh, 33 years in airlines and uh, the last six years working for an Australian domestic operation. So the company I worked for uh, has made all their flight crew, uh, that is the pilot staff, redundant. Richard in Pimdato, based in Surrey Hills, eastern suburbs of Melbourne. I own a business called Modo Property. We sell, lease and manage predominantly retail, commercial and industrial buildings. We also do some residential businesses, uh, just, just about four years old. So everyone uh, is now out of a job, pretty much all the cabin crew as well, and something around uh, 1,000 other staff, support staff, ground staff, office staff, they were all affected as well. Unfortunately for us as well, we had just hired people that started employment full time with us in early March that did not qualify. For the job keeper payments, so therefore they had to be stood down. The rest of us have had to go on job keeper. Having been around for a while in this industry, you've got the luxury of having a bit behind you, so it's it's not going to ruin me. Uh, it's not going to, you know, we'll get through it. Um, but it's going to take a good few years to come back from that. There's this notion from people that are unaffected, who are public servants, who are part of the chattering class, as I call them. They seem to think that small business owners have this pot of pot of cash that's there. There's already businesses that are their shops already have been emptied, so they've closed, so they're not coming back. So I think we've got to get out of this lockdown as quick as we can and start releasing uh, restrictions, uh, of course, in a measured way and keeping social distancing. These people need to realise that it is only by going outside, going to uni, going to our work that we actually have a purpose, a reason to wake up in the morning. It's not just because of the money. It does help. It does help lift the financial burdens that we have as students or individuals living alone. But we need a reason to wake up in the morning. To have this lockdown, to have this burden lifted, would mean that we could actually be the people who we were prior to this. Sociable, able to talk to our family, our friends, and happier overall. Like, I think the Prime Minister said that every job's essential. Mine's essential. The, per the old saying, the purpose of life is to have purpose. Just to get that back would just be amazing. Just to give people some purpose back, and just to give them a semblance back of their old normal life.